Um, I thought I'd make a video on my journey with depression and anxiety. Um, as you can see, I'm at home in my pyjamas. Um, I've suffered from anxiety and depression for a few months now. I um, kind of hit a crisis point last week where I decided to t try and take my own life because I don't want to be here anymore. Um, obviously it didn't work to plan and I'm having to deal with uh, the consequences of kind of you know what to do now. Um, I'm going to be making blogs, good days and bad days, um, to try and help other people who are going through the same thing to see if we can you know, help others out there so you don't feel so alone and you don't feel so isolated like, like I do. Um, you know, a little bit about my story is um, I have a long term health condition and I've been in hospital an awful lot and I've been quite seriously ill with it and I think I've had sepsis now about eight times in a year and I'm not sure if you know what sepsis is but it's quite serious and I struggle to cope with being in hospital for so long five six weeks at a time with a physical illness um, it's very hard lying in a bed um, basically with no control and emotionally having to deal with you know your illness and feeling ill and you know my trouble is I don't ask for help. Um, I'm very stubborn and I feel like I can do it all myself and I just can't. This is this is this is the end result. I just can't. I can't. I can't do it. Um, um, you know, it's got to the stage kind of a few weeks ago where I was kind of I was sick and guessing everything in my life, thinking you know I don't want to be here, I don't deserve to be here, um, nobody understands me um, and basically I felt like it wasn't worth living anymore so if I did die I don't think I would be missed, um, you know, and, and then you struggle with the whole thing of suicide, you know, is it a selfish thing to do, you know, are you destroying, you know, your friends and family? You know, you're going to cause them hurt and pain, but, you know, I'm hurting and I'm in pain and they don't care, you know, they're not there to help me um, and support me, they're too selfish and they are caused me a lot of hurt and pain and, you know, I can't live my life hurting and being miserable and being in pain just because I don't want to cause them hurt and pain, you know, maybe, you know, if if I did commit suicide or whatever I was going to do, they might then understand what you know, they've put me through. Um, you know, and through being ill, you know, physically ill, I've lost a lot of friends. I've lost a lot in my life. Um, and people just don't understand and they're not there for me anymore. Um, I don't have any friends, I don't have a social life, I don't go out. Um, you know, nobody invites me anywhere. Um, and to be honest, I'm not sure I'd cope if they did because I have social anxiety, so I find it really hard to go out and mix with other people. Um, yeah, so as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to blog good days and bad days and you can follow my journey if you want, right, basically from the start. As I say, you know, I tried to take my own life last week and I feel like I let let a lot of people down and you know at the hospital they didn't really they didn't really understand um, and they said they were going to make me a referral to go and speak to someone but that could take weeks or months and you know I'm lucky I have a very good doctor my GP is great and she basically saved my life last week um, one thing I did learn that I refused to go to hospital because I didn't want to go and 
my GP said that she would section me if I didn't go to hospital and I didn't know they could do that. So that's made me quite wary and untrusting now of my GP. So I think, you know, if I did have suicidal tendencies or I did feel really bad, like I was going to do something or, you know, I just, I don't think I would go to any of the doctors now because of that fear of being sectioned. Um, which is a bit of a shame that the trust's kind of not there, but I know they're trying to do their job and they're trying to keep me safe. Um, you know, it, you know, people always say, you know, you must talk to someone if you're feeling down and depressed, but, you know, I don't have anyone to talk to. Um, you know, I don't have friends or family to talk to. I don't have any friends, as I've said before, and I will explain my family situation just yeah, it's not going to happen, so, you know, I'm dealing with this myself and it's probably going to be a harder journey and a longer journey because I am dealing with it myself. Um, I hope in time that, you know, it, my body heals itself and I sort myself out and I don't feel like this, but right now, as I say, I just... Don't, I just don't know what to do, I don't know what to think, I don't know what to feel. Um, you can only focus on literally one day at a time. Um, sometimes one hour at a time. Um, yeah, it's hard, it's, it's so hard because you feel like nobody understands, you feel like you're so alone, like nobody's ever been where you've been. Um, and that fear of rejection if you do tell people what if they don't understand because there's a whole stigma around about mental health and there shouldn't be but there is so if they don't understand and you come finding them and they they end the friendship then you know how are you going to feel you're going to feel absolutely gutted you know really really hurt and I can't deal with that right now so for me you know I have lots of acquaintances but nobody that I could trust to say, you know, this is what's happened, you know, can we talk about it or I don't even think I'm at the stage where I want to talk. I don't want to talk about it really to people, you know, or why I did it or what the reasons were, you know. And I'm lucky that nobody's ever asked me why I did it or what the reasons were. Um Yeah, it you know Everybody's on their own journey with depression and anxiety, you know. I personally, I don't drink at all because of my physical conditions. I've never taken drugs. I don't smoke. Never been in trouble with the police, you know. Um, and yet you still get judged for that. You know, the first thing they ask you at the hospital is, you know, do you drink, do you take drugs? And you're like, no, I don't, you know. Um, a feeling so low that you don't want to be here anymore is is not a nice place to be. Um, and as I say, I'm going to kind of blog. I don't know, just whenever. I can't say daily, weekly, whatever. You know, good times and bad times. Um, and I hope you know that people maybe watching this can relate to, you know, what I'm saying or what, you know, people who have depression can kind of go through, um, whether you're doing it alone or you have a great network of support out there, it's still, it's still a really hard journey, so, yeah, kind of introduce myself and, um, we'll see what happens over the next few days or whatever, so, take care and I'll speak to you soon.